So the right hand one now is going to showcase kind of what was happening before where your weight wasn't really moving as we said through that line. So this yellow line, now, I'll send that clip to that guy on that video yeah. doing that bump and you can sort of practice at home, film yourself, send the clip to me, say how's it looking, okay? And see whether or not you're moving to the left side, okay? So as you go back now in the takeaway, yeah. what we want to try and is a little shift yeah, off that line, which you that kind of get there. Yeah. But your body's moving now all the way to the right. There's not a single ounce of movement to the left in that back to your torso. And as you start coming back down, you don't get anywhere near that line at all, do you? No. Now is it, that right knee doing too much coming on the inside, or are you have? No, not really. No, that's fine. I mean, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I mean, yeah, I, mean I think probably with that being because your strength and muscle mass, your flexibility is probably down a little bit. So I think he's got to move a little bit anyway. Okay. If, you, if you try to keep him from moving anyway, you're not going to any turn at all. But the thing is now is getting from here at this point now, you've got to start basically shifting your backside and rear end towards that yellow line. Because when you get into impact, what we're looking for, you put speed on this now. There's no way your arms can come down this way while then you start moving this way. Your hips are now going to come back round and they'll move, they'll move away from this yellow line, as you'll see. As you start coming back in the goal point, now your hips never get anywhere near that yellow line. Look at that. That's kind of moving up and away. And then you try and get through them afterwards. So you get there afterwards. But what you'll notice, the guy in the video, when he did that, he actually was up against the line here. He moved through it, and then when he came to the goal ball, he moved back and away. So he was extending up through the shot, yeah? yeah. You were trying to get the ball to go low by moving left, but you're just oh, doing no. it too late. I'm probably deceiving myself with that exactly. And that's the problem. Oh, you go, oh, foot. look how good I look. Exactly. Yeah, I finished on the front foot. Yeah, everything must have gone through. Yeah. Okay. So if we watch this move now, when you do it slowly, you see, you can get that impact position lovely. There's no, yeah. there's no speed to this. You're not putting speed into it, okay? That was not the best one here, okay? Second was okay. Third was the better one, okay? So... Yeah, a little bit there, okay, so that sort of little bump there, almost as the club is going down, because it's slower, we can get into that left side again, so that still looks better if we go back to that impact position on here now, where you were, that's just before him, that's basically him, but the ball's blowing there, see the difference in your body shape there, can't you, I mean, your head's way back over here, some of the hands are back there at impact, yeah, your hips, there. I mean, look at the difference in your trail leg, that trail leg now, is kind of going up through there, where this one now is kind of leaning back a little bit more, okay? You're not yeah. really moving through to target, okay? The third one was much better, okay? As you get to here now... The fourth one then. <laughs> it, was, it was the last one. It was, one of them was really good. There you go. There you go, good. So you're starting to move there. See the white... See the, that, that green line? See the white um, logo on your shorts there? Yeah. Before that club starts coming down there. See that? Yeah. There? So that's the move you've got to try and practice till it becomes literally something you just can't not do, yeah? Yeah. And it is something you'll do when you throw a ball. If you throw a ball, you actually film yourself throwing a ball, you'll actually see yourself as the arm's going back, you're stepping into it before your arm actually gets behind your head. And you'll see that, you're like, like sort of baseball pitch and these kind of things, that sort of stationary and then moving, okay? There's one more now, I think. I might be this might be the better one, actually. Yeah, this is the better one there. You can see, there you go. So look at that white marker on your hip there, okay? So as you're moving there, See, that club's not really moving, is it? That sort of move there, yeah? A little pause almost with the club. You're making your turn. The club looks a lot steeper there, which is great. And then we're moving back down. So you come into impact. There's more your impact there. And then you stand up and come around the corner. And then we get the golf ball. Because we put speed to it. Do we move left? Uh, not really. And then you see you come back to that, you see. So this is why I say doing it super slow, okay? always work on that so you did four or five practice swings there that were three were good one was decent one was nah all right and the swing then kind of went back a little bit to the old swing okay but if you hit 50 golf balls and have effectively 250 practice swings and 150 of them are good 50 are decent and 50 are rubbish you've had then 350 good swings and a hundred nah swings, eventually that good swing is going to eke its way into your game, yeah? yeah? It's going to become more the movement you make, okay? And again, I know you're probably got mirrors into the gym and stuff. Just stand there and just get that feeling. So you almost see yourself kind of moving and bumping into the wall there, okay? So before the arm starts coming down, you're just bumping. Don't go too early by leaning left in the backswing. We are shifting to the right as the club moves right. Yeah. So it's like a little bump to the right here, okay? As that club starts moving up to the top of the backswing, you're moving left with it. Like I say, if you're going to skim a pebble, if you're, on the, on, you're down the beach and you're going to skim a pebble, you get there, what's your left foot already doing? 
Yeah? It's already going to move. You wouldn't stand there and go... <laughs> and do that, would you? You just... You kind of... As, as, as you're... Exactly, exa- 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 as your arm went back there, you're stepping into it, okay? It would be very unnatural to go kind of here and then try and trigger the down thing. It's just two distinctive movements. We want the swing to flow. And you know when you played your best golf, the swing has a nice flow and sequence to it, yeah? There's no kind of like jagged, it's just like whoops, through and back. There's no, the, tra- the transition is just from the start through to the finish. There's no kind of like, I stop here, I move here, I move there. It's basically a blend and a flow of everything, yeah? With regard to the driver, why are we getting that size from, okay? You said you felt you were leaning backwards too much. So you were leaning kind of back here with the driver yeah. and you're losing balance kind of going this direction. So the way of stopping that was moving your shoulders down and left, which just gets the golf club swinging way left. When you release the hands and that bag, the impact bag we said, it's that kind of snap of that wrist. That gives you so much more speed, but it's doing so as you move to that left. If you move left, your path will be better. If you try to balance yourself up by levelling off your shoulders, you're just going to be swinging left all day, mate. And yeah. if you release the club, it's the last ball left. If you don't, it's a big cutty one back to target, yeah? It's that kind of scene we've got to try and do. But definitely, definitely send some swings to me on the range. Or even just at home in the garden. Sounds daft. Put your phone on the wall there. Someone gets a film and say, OK, look at the swing. I just want to do this, yeah? And just swing back and do that video. I'll send that video through to you as well. But just get to this movement going, OK? Turn in and then bump, yeah? Yeah. Just do that sort of for a couple of minutes a day. So it just becomes kind of what you do. So when you're over the ball, you're not thinking about it, okay? This is yeah. why it's got to be one thing at a time. Last lesson, we're working on sort of like distance from the ball, getting that club to work away better. And to be fair, I'd say three quarters of your swings today, you've done that. The first couple were a little bit of flat, where you're thinning a few, but you kind of got a bit better towards the end of the session, yeah? That's kind of embedded to some extent. This is now the next stage on, yeah? And then the next stage, it's putting the piece together. And at some stage, there's always going to be it's never a stage, oh, I'm here where I want to be and I'm, there's where I want to get to. And the stage is always this way. You'll find one part of the stage is easy, one's a bit harder, one's a little bit easier, one's, it's always going to be peak and troughs, yeah? Yeah, exactly. It's now it's on the season where I'm putting... And this is exactly, you're not playing as much and again, going forward then, if we could say now as a guy, so maybe, by, okay, by April next year, you've got this literally down, this is your swing without any thought, you just do this so naturally, your strike now is going to be heaps yeah. and tons better. And you'll be hitting the ball back to where the distance you want to be hitting the goal ball with less effort. Yeah. So when you play a game of golf, it'll be knackered by the end of the round because you're not pummeling everything with every ounce of energy you've got, yeah? Well, ideally, when I'm going to next year, I target for sort of myself and you. I only play enough 12, I want to lose. I was, was going to say, yeah, low, te- low, low teams my, in my head. So 12, 13, 14, 13 yeah, now, yeah. I'm shooting 32, 33, 34 points around the 2010 yeah. off 18. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. So I know, I know I can get lower. Like, all my friends are like, how are you still doing yeah. the, like, thi- the, the, the thing is, you hit it good, so when it's hit good, it looks better than 18 handicap because you're strong, it goes a long way. They may not see the height or the efficiency so that's much. Yeah. They, just, they just hear a good strike or a good hit off the sweet spot and they go, oh, that's better than 18 handicap. And when you hit it good, it is, but it's not quite shiny. You always hear that phrase, when they hear the tour players, it just sounds that little bit because they're just getting that, that strike, yeah? yeah? Okay, mate? Oh, yeah. Good man.